I literally just get home like from work after a long day and while I was at work I saw that Brawler HQ posted on Instagram that Champions of Destroyer was coming out. Bakugan is actually getting a Switch game and this is honestly pretty pretty funny and pretty exciting to me. Champions of Destroya, they had a trademark for that name oh, like a week ago, but we didn't even know what it was. Like, we didn't know if it was another phone game or something, but it turns out it's just a AAA title that uh, they're gonna shovel out to the Nintendo Switch. I haven't, ha I haven't actually gotten the chance to watch the trailer from Nintendo Treehouse because I missed the live stream because I'm at work. I'm just like kind of excited for it, but at the same time I'm a little worried. Shields of Destroya is just going to be like a uh, really, really uh, kind of a, uh, I don't know, kind of a half-baked version of of a, of a Final Fantasy The City or maybe even Monster Hunter from what from uh, the images that I saw. I think uh, Champions of Destroya says pre-order the deluxe edition now. Get a Ultima Dragonoid transforming Bakugan toy, which is pretty much just Dragonoid core that's just repainted. I don't know if it's gonna have a metallic sheen or something in it, but I don't know. So it comes with the comes with its own card and it has a metal gate card and also it's a double green fist Bakugan. So it is technically a Dragonoid core from Ordered Alliance, just repainted. What what really sets me apart from Shields uh, this uh. Champions of Destroyer game is that it actually got on trending on Twitter and probably for the wrong reasons. I actually took a break from Twitter for a while because I have personal family issues going on but I decided to just go on incognito mode and go on Twitter's home homepage and I see Bakugan trending so I clicked on the link to the trending and my god it's the worst kind of trending that you could ever ask for. There's just so many tweets like just so much hate tweets about it like I'm just like Oh god, is this game really that bad? Here's some of my favorites, really. Uh, here's Bakugan Switch game. It's based off the reboot, and then it's just well, okay. It's not. It's not, not that funny. I don't even know that. I don't. I think that's Adventure Time or something. I don't know. This is the only good Bakugan game, and it's just the Bakugan Battle Brothers game for the Wii. I actually played that game uh, a long time ago, like a few times, but. I have not, I have not played it ever since my Wii got destroyed. So it's so, yeah. I have, I have no fond memories with it, but I haven't had bad memories with it. I just remember it being like a decent game, but that's but that's about it. I didn't actually play the real game like that much, so I pretty much forgotten all the rules at this point. Nintendo, please do not have expectations. Nintendo fans, oh man, they think they've tricked me. I know they're gonna reveal a crazy awesome new game or talk about Bayo three or something. Nintendo. Bakugan? They lied to us! Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Nintendo really lied to you about that one. In this house, we don't talk about Bakugan, we only talk about the real sh And it's just Beyblade, the, you know, the first series of Beyblade. I actually really like the old first series of Beyblade, but I stopped at the Middle Fusion. Twitter does what Twitter does, and it's just, it's just like a, it's just like a whole meme at this point. So what does Champions of Destroyer gonna have? Master your Bakugan fighting skills. Become Bakugan's brawling heroes through the game's highly competitive and deep action battle system as players build their best Bakugan teams. Players collect Bakugan by befriending them while exploring and completing quests. So is this just another Pokemon? Build the perfect team, assemble three of your strongest Bakugan, each with your own customizable abilities, and equip Baku gear to form the ultimate team's energy. Okay, so for, okay, so pretty much just half-baked Bakugan half-baked Pokemon, sort of. But it kind of follows the real-life game. Very environments to explore. Okay, it's a, it's an open world. Okay. Take on the world. Test your skills around the world to head-to-head -head online multiplayer bots. It's gonna have an online mode? Wow, okay. So since I didn't actually see the trailer to it yet, I might as well film my reaction for you guys and let me know what, what I think about it and also the gameplay demo as well. Uh, I really I am really curious to see how this game will play out as well as how this game will look like and how it appeals to... Uh, to us Bakugan fans while also trying to introduce a new audience to Bakugan because if there's one thing that a series really needs it's a video game adaptation you know Spongebob did it Fairly Odd Parents did it uh Yu-Gi-Oh is, is like constantly doing it uh I don't know let's just see what we're getting into really okay so we have our home page and whoa what the heck 1.2k likes to 3.3k dislikes? Does people really hate this game so much? Oh boy, we are so screwed. Okay, well, let's see what we're getting into here. Let's play the video. Okay, kind of like Dragon Ball Sparking Meteor a little bit. Hey, look, Ventus Knight. Okay, so Dragonoid, 
Okay, I saw a little bit. So you get to control as Dan Kuzo? Let's try to go attack in Ventus Knight because of course Ventus Knight really has to be in these kinds of things. Kind of reminds me of like the mobile app kind of style. Champions of Destroyer, Village of Rocket Content. November 3rd is coming out. Okay. Why does it seem like the movements are kind of... Kind of lagged. Yeah, the movement's a little laggy. Central Park, New York City is in this game? Okay, so there's quests in this game, and there's also going to be brawling. Monster Hunter much? Leonidas is coming back! That's... That's what everybody's been wanting, Leonidas to be a real Bakugan, but he's only been a game-exclusive Bakugan. But now he's coming back? Okay, I already see something wrong. They, they're not doing the toys, like, Bakugan stand with the toys from the an like, what in the anime. Okay, what? Why does the animations kind of look... D uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 kind of, uh, stop, kind of. Why is that, why are you throwing the Bakugans away from the Bakugan? Like in the show, you're supposed to throw it at towards them. Okay, can you, st okay, let's stop for a second. So, you're, so the object of the game, you're supposed to run around the place and grab as many energy cores as possible, and once you throw it around your Bakugan and get enough, your Bakugan gets to la launch an attack? Really? That's, that's... Weird? I don't know what kind of immersive gameplay that is. I like the animation for uh, the attacks. It's kind of like in the anime, except just not with the cool background thing. Wait, okay, so if the object of the game is just to run around the place, then what's stopping your opponent from just blocking your way the entire time? Like, I'm pretty sure if you're going to design a game like this, Gameplay-wise, you should probably make it so the characters can phase through each other, just to make it a fair, just to make it a kind of a fair fight. I can really tell that this gameplay is just really just based off the anime. Like, uh, like I can, like I can already tell. Like this, sh uh, the show is pretty much the basis for what the gameplay is because the show is targeted towards little kids, and I'm guessing that the game is supposed to be targeting towards little kids as well. So yeah, that's so yeah, that kind of makes sense why. Uh, that kind of makes sense why they would do that, but uh, yeah, I'm just still sad that it's not based off the TCG. Like, kind of, that's kind of like what everybody's been asking for. It's like they want the TCG version of a uh, Bakugan back, because like the old games were based on the actual game, but not this one. Sure, yes, the show doesn't base the show around the uh, real life game, but you know, uh, people want want uh, a real uh, a real life version of the game uh, to be based on based on the, the video game as well, so, yeah. Also, another thing, why are the Bakugan just seem like they're just standing there? You get coins in this game too? Huh! So we already have kind of the basis of what the game will look like and how it will be played. Pretty much, your two Bakugan just stand there as if they're just like, uh, robot chess pieces or something. And then you have to run around the place trying to pick up as many cores as many cores as you can, throw them at your back gun, and once you get enough, they'll be able to launch some sort of attack. I kind of feel like that's a little boring. Hey, look, it's Dan. So the so they're actually in this game too. Yeah, so it's not just a trailer thing. Holy crap! Ability oh, hydrant right fell down. Ability cards are coming back. Wow. Okay, so it is kind of like the old game, sort of a little bit, but however, there is just a more anime sense with it. So it's pretty much just like kind of uh, Hearthstone a little bit, uh, but except it's more uh, Pokemon style of battling. So you do get to still build a deck, however, it's not kind of like the TCG thing. It's more like a legacy thing, but uh, kind of style thing, but still, this is a little bit different. Uh, I still don't think uh, the gameplay is just uh, as is as hyped as we, we thought. Okay, so how do you find a Bakugan in this game, really? Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay. So that's how you discover Bakugan. You just inter you just try to find like some sort of sheen glow or something, and then you interact with them. Okay, let's just pause for a second. The animation for when you find the Bakugan is pretty cool. They keep it pretty simple and short. Don't try to don't try to uh, extend it too long. And uh, yeah, they just add it to your team. I don't know. If you, uh, I don't know how how you add it to your team if your team is full. Like maybe you transform to a box or something. Eh. Big coins are used by brawlers to buy abilities, clothes, and other unique items. Okay, wow. That's what the B coins are for. B coins, B power. Okay, right, let's pause there. That's actually pretty clever, you know. Uh, it doesn't make the game totally unfair, but, you know, uh, it gives a little bit of strategy uh, involved in it. I'm guessing they're trying to... I'm guessing it's kind of like type matchups in Pokemon, or like, you know, water types beat fire types, and like... Uh, grass type beat water types and all that. In this case, Pyrus type beats Ventus, Ventus beats Aquos, Aquos beats Pyrus, and so on and so on. So uh, yeah, pretty cool there. Oh, is that dark? Is that darkest Cyrus? Yeah, it is. Huh. Oh, and then you they can switch out. So they can auto. Okay, so they can still auto attack each other. So like, are the arrow keys or what abilities that you're be able to? Your, what you'll be able to use. Man, Darkest Cyrus looks pretty awesome. Okay. Kind of gives me that feeling of what what these uh, would look like if the real life Bakugan actually did that. Actually gave us like the... Actually materialized the actual monsters. Oh, he stole the he stole the Baku core there. That's pretty clever. How does Baku gear work in this game? They really just like using Pegasus for these demonstrations, huh? Okay, so this game is literally just a collect-a-thon, kind of. Like, you just run around- yeah, you just run around the place and just collect Baku cards and throw it. I don't- I don't know really what the fun is in that. I thought you would be able to- I thought that uh, the Bakugan would still be uh, attacking each other and stuff, and they'd be like obstacles in your way, like moving obstacles or something. Uh, I, I, I don't know really. It's, uh, I don't see really the... I personally really just don't see the appeal of this. That's probably just me. Hey, oh, Cindy uh, There's actually a brawl here. Oh, we're getting oh, close. Okay, oh, so there's there the team attack. team attack. Team attack! Team <laughs> <laughs> attack! Yo, one hit. Of course one it. hit. I guess is pretty low. I, I think that's all the time. We have today uh, for, right, for Bakugan Champions of Destroyer. So that's pretty. So that's pretty much Bakugan Champions of Destroyer, huh? Okay, so that's what Champions of Destroyer is supposed to be. Oh, uh, what I think. Well, the graphics aren't really the best. Uh, like the walking of it, the walking, the character walking is kind of laggy a little bit. Like it's slacking. Uh, the game, the overall gameplay, it's literally you literally just collect stuff and throw them. I thought that you would be controlling the Bakugan, and then you would have to control the hum. You have to switch over to control the human as well if you're low on if you're low on power, trying to get uh, a certain ability. That's probably just me, but yeah, I don't. Uh, I kind of don't see the appeal of this, honestly. Like this is not. This is personally probably not a game that I would want to play, but that's probably just me. I would still. I would probably still play it because I kind of want to experience what this game is like, and I kind of want that exclusive Dragonoid. But overall, I was hoping that this game would have like, would be like some sort of Godzilla monster movie kind of style of game. But uh, yeah, that's that's Champions of Destroy. <laughs> uh, personally, you know what I see didn't see on uh, Twitter. People have not actually know did not actually know that the TCG is actually a thing in Bakugan. Like, Bakugan actually has a legit TCG now, with like a 40 card deck and all that, but nobody seems to know about, uh, about it. Cause like, you know, Spin Master does not put that much effort into it. But overall, in terms of the Bakugan community, this is a pretty big deal for us. Like, uh, gameplay wise, it doesn't really appeal to me. I find it kind of a little boring, to be honest with you. But as a fan of the show and the game, uh, I'm pretty guilty myself of wanting to be in the show, battling with my Bakugan, throwing Baku cores and summoning Baku gear, and wanting Darkest Hydranoid to evolve, uh, just like in the show. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, this might not be a good introduction to new people to Bakugan. Like, if you want to introduce people to Bakugan, uh, the Bakugan Pro game or, Bak or Bakugan in general, you should probably not use this game as an introduction. But overall, as a community though, we, we're pretty excited about it. And all the dislikes and stuff just seems to come from people who just don't understand uh, Bakugan in, in general. But then again, you really do need to uh, you do really do need to focus on making a good game because making a good game does take priority. And you know, I just feel sorry for the people for the people that developed this game. They uh, you know the game gets trending on Twitter and then they open it up and it's not what they really want to be trended for. But, but overall, as a fan of the game, I am pretty excited. As a gamer though, uh, not, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not putting this as a priority buy, but I'm, but, you know, I'll still try to check it out and I want to see, if, I want to judge for myself how good this game is. But, let me know what you guys think of Champions of Destroya. I've been Haru Ren, and that was Bakugan. Bye! Don't ever get used to reaction videos.